When you're able to step back and see the, the enormity of the mosaic that was just created, it's uh, pretty magnificent. And a lot of people work tirelessly to be able to lift up the program. And in doing so, it lifted up the department and certainly lifted up the university. And for that, we're tremendously proud. Of course, on the national media level, we've seen a great deal of engagement uh, extension of our brand and outreach of our, of our brand because of the coverage that we received in this unprecedented season that we've had undefeated uh, in, the, in the Pioneer Football League. And so it, it's been nice to see engagement from students on campus to alumni and, and friends and fans in the community and then also nationally been able to engage with that, with that group of people as well. First of all, we're in these media markets unlike we've ever been able to do so before. Strategically, we can get into these markets on the media, on the media front uh, and engage with that, with that group uh, in more ways than we've, we've been able to in the past. Secondly, it allows us to recruit not just student athletes, but students at large in a more strategic way as we extend this reach nationally from coast to coast and border to border. I think it allows for who we are and the brand of St. Thomas football, the brand of St. Thomas in general, to be seen um, by thousands and thousands of people, if not millions. And We've said forever, we're gonna proudly wave the flag for the University of St. Thomas. We've said that going back to 2008. It's just now more people are paying attention to what we're waving. That was the most heartwarming part of it, was to see that meteoric rise and to see our kids handle it in tremendous stride. And until the very last game, they weren't trying to go out and do something that was um, unachievable. They were simply trying to go out and be the best versions of themselves that they possibly could.